Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Steve Henry Show on KKNT 960. This is a show where I offer insights on how to start, grow, and succeed in your small business. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a new segment to the Steve Henry Show called It's Your 5-Minute Business Boost. Each week at the end of my monologue, live in the studio, I'm going to introduce a Christian business that I think may be of interest to you. Joining me today live in the studio is a man who is keeping the American dream alive, a second-generation family-owned and operated business, Bill Zacharias of Z's Fine Jewelry. Welcome, Bill, into the Steve Henry Show. Thank you very much. It is a pleasure to have you here. So we've got just a couple of moments here before we go to break, but what is Z's Fine Jewelry? Well, we are a family-owned business. My mm-hmm. wife and I are the owners. Uh, we've been in Arizona now 16 years, but I've been doing this 29 years. And uh, we do everything that related to fine jewelry. We're not doing costume jewelry, but mainly fine and gold or silver or platinum. Okay. We can do all those medias. And we mentioned this is a second-generation business. Uh, who started this endeavor? Well, I actually, my father, after I got out of the military, and um, he asked me to come back and start with him because he was in it for longer when I was younger, but I was just a kid. You know, mm-hmm. I, I went in and did engraving and stuff like mm-hmm. that. But uh, it wasn't until after the military and I went out on my own, uh, I got to start working with my dad, and I did it for 11 years with him. Wonderful. But yeah. I wanted to learn how to do the manufacturing of it, uh-huh. and he, wasn't, he didn't really want me to get into that. And that's something my passion was. I've always been artistic right. all my life, and, and I wanted to learn it, and that, I had to go out on my own for a while so, to do that. Uh, mm. how, what percentage of referrals do you have in your business? Oh, I have to tell you, I think... 75% of my business is referrals. Mm-hmm. When I first came out here, I, uh, I had to start, the first thing I did is I joined the local chamber of commerce. Okay. I wanted to meet people there to get input. Mm-hmm. Uh, they even helped me select my first location here. Mm-hmm. And uh, by doing that, I met a lot of good people and they're still with me today. Mm-hmm. But by building those relationships through small networking groups and those type of areas, that's how my business has survived through all this. It's a true story. There's a there's a gazillion jewelry stores out there today. How do you separate yourself from the gazillion jewelry stores that are out there, Bill? I guess it would be like finding a doctor, someone mm-hmm. that you would trust. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you go to one doctor, you just don't mm-hmm. get along with him that well. You don't like the way he treats you. You need to go and try different stores and maybe take in a repair, see how they treat you. Um, in my store, I want people to feel like they're coming into their own home. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to think you're there because you're bothering me. Right. And I tell you the truth. I go into mega stores, uh, mm-hmm. not jewelry stores, just any store. Mm-hmm. It's amazing the people that will not wait on you or serve you. And a- amen. They run amen. away from amen. you. They a- run. Amen to that. And again, I, I think, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to start a small business or if you have an existing small business, the key way, the only way we could really compete with the mega stores is the service aspect of it and how exactly. we treat our customers, how we go after them, and uh, the follow-up, too. I, I assume when somebody buys a diamond from you, there's a after-sale process that you follow? Oh, yes, sir. And we, we don't require you to come in every 30 days to mm-hmm. make sure. If you lose a little diamond, we take care of it. You know, wow. If you have a problem where you step on it and crunch it, mm-hmm. that's why you have insurance. We always, always, we always provide an appraisal right. free with every purchase. And there's always that infamous garbage disposal. Oh, that, that has happened many times. <laughs> right. How do we contact you, Bill? This sounds like a great place, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see a first-class operation and with somebody who genuinely cares for his customers. There's a website and an address. Where exactly, how do we contact you, Bill? Well, best you can call our store at 623-374-7706. And your website? Our website actually is www.zsfinejewelry.com. That's Z and then an S, finejewelry.com. Now, now navigating there, uh, I can't place an order, as we've determined, but I can see what you do right? and uh, at least make a contact for you to uh, contact myself. Yes, or, sir. I mean, mm-hmm. In fact, we have a site. You just click on it. You can see how much gold is at any time during the day if you just want to check it. Mm-hmm. Um, we also have sites on there to show how we do custom things mm-hmm. and how we actually go from a wax to an actual piece of jewelry that's being cast for you. Bill Zacharias of Z's Fine Jewelry here in Arizona. A great store, a great man. Thank you so much, brother, for, oh, thank for you, coming Remy. into the Steve thank Henry you. Show. For your free copy of the best-selling book, The Playbook for Small Businesses by Steve Henry, go to the stevehenryshow.com and register for the newsletter. Steve will send you the book and he'll even pay for the postage.